Hi everyone! So in this video I'm going to be doing a MAC lipstick collection which I'm super excited about because as you know I love lipsticks and MAC lipsticks are just some of my favourites. I absolutely love watching MAC lipstick collection videos so that I can get some inspiration of what colours to buy next. I've just been so excited to film this video because I just love talking about lipsticks and especially MAC lipsticks because I'm a bit obsessed with them. So I'm just going to show you all 10 of my MAC lipsticks and do some lip swatches and hand swatches, talk a bit about them and why I like them. So I keep all my MAC lipsticks in one of these acrylic containers and I actually got this one from TK Maxx. Uh, it's got my, some of my foundations in it as well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I keep my MAC lipsticks in this part of it, which has just got, I think, 12 little holes uh, to put lipsticks in. And this came as part of one of my acrylic drawer sets, which I got from TK Maxx for £20. But the rest of my lipsticks, uh, wrong way. <laughs> the rest of my lipsticks are in um, are along here. I'm not sure if you can see them, but I keep those in acrylic containers as well, which I purchased off eBay for five pounds, and they contain 24 lipsticks. So that's also another really good option. But I just keep my Mac ones in here because they're my most special ones, and I like to have them near to the front. So yeah, that's how I store them. So I'm going to work through my MAC lipstick collection from light to dark. I know they're quite expensive, but I honestly think they're worth it. Um, I just think they're really good quality lipsticks and they smell amazing. They have amazing colour selection, which is obviously a mega plus for MAC lipsticks and one of the main reasons why so many people buy them. So the first one I have and the first one I ever bought is Creme de Nude. Um, and it's a cream sheen formula, which means that it's quite sheer, it's really creamy, it glides on your lips really smoothly and it's really moisturising as well. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a really pale nude and to be honest I don't really wear this that often because I think it's a bit too light for my skin tone. And even though I'm quite pale, I just find that this washes me out quite a lot. I don't know if you can see that on my hand, but it's basically a super pale, kind of peachy, nude lipstick. So, as you can see, it doesn't look great on me because it really washes me out, I think, and... I don't know, just tell me what you think of it, but I just don't think it looks great. I'm not really sure why it doesn't suit me, but yeah, I just don't I just don't reach for this one that often. But it's still it's super creamy and it's really moisturizing and it smells absolutely amazing as well. But I just don't wear it as much as the others. So my second lipstick is from the Viva Glam range, and this is in the shade Viva Glam 2, which I believe is a satin. Yeah, it's a satin finish and this is another nude lipstick. It's a more brownie nude than creme de nude, and also it's a lot darker. So I find that this is a much more easy to wear nude. It's just one of my go-to nude lipsticks. I love the satin formula as well. It's one of my favourites. It's not too drying, but it's not too glossy as well. So as you can see it's quite a nice nude colour. It feels so super creamy on the lips and I just love this lipstick. And another thing that's really good about it is the MAC Viva Glam Lips... MAC Li Viva Glam... MAC Viva Glam Lips... <laughs> MAC Viva Glam Lips... Lip. Another good thing about it is all of the MAC Viva Glam lipsticks have some of the proceeds that go to their AIDS foundation I think so that's also another really good thing because when you're buying a lipstick you're giving some money to charity so why not go and buy more lipsticks? <laughs> So there's a swatch of that one, and obviously it's a lot darker than Creme de Nude, which is this one at the top here. So yeah, I just think that it will suit a lot more skin tones. So my next lipstick is Pink Plaid, and this is in the matte formula. So it's not too light, and it's not too dark, and it just gives you a nice wash of colour. And the only thing I would say about this is it's quite drying compared to the others and obviously because it is a matte it's going to be quite drying but what I normally do is exfoliate my lips and apply a lip balm before wearing this. 
Sorry these hand swatches are absolutely terrible. Um, but this is Pink Cloud at the bottom uh, and this is Viva Glam 2. So as you can see it on me it just kind of shows up as a medium baby pink. I just think that this colour is really nice for those days when you don't want to go too bright with your makeup but you still want a bit of colour. I just think this is a really nice choice for a pink matte lipstick. Sorry if my lips are starting to become super messy. It's because I keep on having to wipe them off with this baby wipe and it's I have a feeling it's just going to end up all over my face. So my next MAC lipstick, which is one of my more recent purchases, is Brave and I'm sure all of you have heard of this colour because it's supposedly one of the colours that Kylie Jenner wears and I had real trouble trying to buy this because it was constantly sold out because I guess everyone is wanting to try the whole Kylie Jenner lip look, you know. This is a satin finish which, like I said before, is my favourite finish from MAC. This is basically a, well, on me, it comes out as a deep pinky nude, whereas on other people it, is, it kind of comes off as a paler nude. I'm not too sure why, I guess because my lips are quite pink anyway. So this, this one here at the bottom is Brave. This is a great MAC lipstick and I really recommend this if you're looking to buy your first lipstick by MAC. So as you can see, Brave just comes across a deepish, mauve nude on me. I think that Brave is a really good option if you just want to kind of put on a lipstick and look put together without having to think about it too much. So my next shade by MAC is Taupe. I also had real problems finding this because it was always out of stock. It is a matte formula um, and it's kind of a brown colour. It kind of reminds me of the colour of a brick, just slightly less red, but I really like this colour. I wear this quite a lot. It's kind of the mid-stage between a nude and a vampy lip. I am terrible at these hand swatches. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, sorry for that horrific <laughs> hand swatch, but I was trying to use the viewfinder and I'm clearly not great at this. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this is taupe. So as you can see it's just a brownie colour and I guess uh, on some people this would look like a more nude colour but on me because I'm super pale it comes out quite brown but I really like it and again I guess you could say this is kind of on the Kylie Jenner lip trend and I know some people are so over that by now but to be honest I still really like Kylie Jenner's makeup I just think she always looks amazing. So my next shade is another one of the Viva Glam lipsticks and this is Viva Glam 3. It's another matte finish and it's a vampy kind of brown berry colour. It's almost kind of a chocolatey berry colour and it's a really nice for if you want to have a vampy lip, which I do like my vampy lips. So yeah, I really like this colour. I had to clean off the other lipsticks from my hand because otherwise it would just get too messy. But... This one can get quite drying after a while, so I recommend you put on a lip balm for it or something, um, or maybe put a gloss over the top if you like the glossy finish. So the next colour I have to show you is Fresh Moroccan, and unusually for me this is actually a frost finish by MAC, and this is the only frost lipstick I have because I really don't like most of the frost lipsticks. But I actually bought this when I saw Kathleen Lights mention it in one of her videos and I got this for Christmas and it's basically a super Christmassy colour. It's kind of a deep red with tiny flecks of gold glitter in it but it's not too chunky glitter. It just looks really really beautiful especially at Christmas time. It reminds me of mulled wine and Christmas sparkle. Yeah, I actually wore this on Christmas day this year.
and I'm not sure if you can actually see the sparkles in it. So that is a swatch of it here next to Viva Glam 3 and yeah I don't know if it's picking up on camera and you can't feel the glitter on your lips it's not like chunky glitter or anything it actually feels really nice so yeah I definitely think this is a really nice lipstick for the Christmas season if you're looking for one so my next lipstick by MAC is actually from the limited edition oh I can't remember what the collection's called but basically it's a collection that came out a few months ago now and it just has this black glittery packaging which I absolutely loved and I am a sucker for pretty packaging I will literally buy anything if the packaging looks nice and I'm so gutted that I missed out on Max Alluring Aquatics collection because that packaging was literally my life this one is also super pretty which is called Tribalist and it's an amplified formula and this is a super dark berry brown colour and it's quite similar to Viva Glam 3 except this is in an amplified formula so it's super creamy, super pigmented and Viva Glam 3 is a matte finish. Yeah you can kind of see that it's, it's quite similar to Viva Glam 3. I'm not sure if this colour is permanent, I just couldn't resist the packaging. <laughs> As you can see it's super dark, super vampy on me but for the winter I really like it and it's also super moisturising. The only thing is because it's amplified it can smudge quite easily and I find that it sometimes gets on my teeth. But other than that I love it. So my next MAC lipstick is definitely the brightest one I own and it is in the colour Flat Out Fabulous and this is a retro matte formula which means that it is super matte, it lasts forever like it lasts all day but it can be quite difficult to apply but this is basically a really bright fuchsia pink apparently it's supposed to be really similar to girl about town uh, but girl about town is a different formula and this one is a retro matte so this is it swatched on my hand and i'm not sure if the camera is picking up how bright it is but it's literally like a fluorescent pink it's absolutely amazing It's basically just a hot Barbie pink and it's super bright, it's super matte and I just think this is an amazing colour, especially for a night out. Yeah, it's amazing. So my final MAC lipstick is Rebel and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this. It's been super popular for ages and it always sells out in winter time because it's such a beautiful plum berry shade and it looks different on so many different people. I mean on me it comes out quite bright whereas on other people I've seen it look super dark and vampy so yeah I think this just suits everyone and it is an absolute staple for your MAC lipstick collection but there is a reason that I'm swatching this last because it stains the hell out of your lips like seriously it leaves a really bright pink stain almost as bright as flat out fabulous on the plus side that is really good because it means it lasts all day and when it does wear off it doesn't wear off patchy it just wears off to a really nice pink color so this is it swatched on the end it's in the satin formula again which i really like Someone's setting off fireworks in my video, great. So I just think it's a really nice colour that will suit everyone and I really love it. So that is it for my MAC lipstick collection and I really hope this video was helpful for some of you guys who are looking to buy new MAC lipsticks and please let me know which one was your favourite and what your favourite MAC lipsticks are down in the comments so that I can go out and buy more because... I need an excuse to buy more really. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and yeah I'll see you in my next video. Bye!